Sometimes it just happens. Well, now nah, hey. you get to go reread the line from the book. <laughs> hey, so Yatsumi. Um, Yatsumi. Kami? Hey. Yatsumi Kami to Ben to Ink. Hi, can you read this word one more time? Pen. Hi. So, pen and ink. Pen to ink. Oh. Hi, ni. Ika. Say yo. Coming from iku. So, let's go. Let go. So that we can buy pen and ink and paper, kami, for him. Good guess, good guess. So let's think about causative form for a second. We have ikaseru. Ikaseru is to make somebody do something. Ikaseru. The person that you're making them do, who, who's going to be being forced to, is actually going to be having the need. So, yatsu is forced to do what? To go buy. Hi, hi, hi. So, he he got the ikase. He was forced. Well, yatsu. To. He was caused to. Yeah, he was forced to. He was allowed to. Any of those. This yo right here is, you're right, volational form, which can mean let's do this. But it doesn't really mean the way let's do this does in English. We don't really have a way to actually directly translate o form, which is why we do let's do this. O basically means I intend. I intend for this to occur. So this would mean instead I'm making, I'm going to make yatsu buy something. So this is a plan, in other words. Mm -hmm. So I plan to make that guy go buy ink, pen, and paper. Yeah, it's weird to add that. Old. So this connotation, okay. this connotation happens because of the causative form. Is Maybe. yo. Hi, yo okay. is relational form, which means, which when you look at it up, it'll like in most like grammar books, it'll say, let's do it form. So that would be um, shio or yomo or iko. All those words are um, causative form. Tabeyo would be let's eat. Tabeyo. Um, but it's not like the English let's eat in the idea of like, oh, let's go do this right now necessarily. It really just has a conveying idea of I, the speaker, plan for this action to occur. And it can be used to invite someone to do something with you. But it literally says, it's like saying, um, as a girl, you might tell your girlfriend, I'm going to go to the bathroom. That is, to some extent, an invitation for another girl to walk with them to the bathroom. It, it's the same as like that idea, like, I'm going to do blank. I'm going to make somebody do something. But it, ha it can have an invitation idea if you say it out loud to somebody. But you can think it and not invite somebody to do it. Just mean, I'm going to go do this action. So I guess a direct translation of this is actually, I'm going to. Which is odd that that's not how they define it. Because that, that works perfect to describe it. So I'm going to make, because it's kateru. Causative means to make. I'm going to make someone go buy food. The person I'm going to make is Yatsu. Mm, I'm going to. I'm going to. Yes, okay. I'm going to. So that's what relational form is. Okay. Oh. Can, can we star a slide? Is it okay if we star a slide? Star a slide? I feel like I feel like I want to relook at this, this at another yeah. time in order to 
That sounds good. Get it in my head because some I feel like certain certain things I keep getting tripped up on. It's pretty new combining these all together. But yeah, I'll have it in my head to mm. practice you with all a little bit. We tend to see the attempt version in this yeah. book, which is all toll suru. Which means I attempt, attempt to do to something. Betrayal. So I had planned to eat food. I was going to eat food, I guess could be how you could translate. Old Tosuru. Which is interesting. Yeah, I'll have that in my Tosuru. homework. Okay, can you read the sentence for me? Hi. Kane o mata. Kane o mata mama. Dorobo wa modote konai. Did you say mata? I say mata. Oh no. It's not kane o mata. How no, no, kane no, no, no. That's not. That's not waiting. That's not waiting. Hi, hi. It's, it's motsu, but hi, hi. Hi, motsu is in the ta form. Motsu? Motsu? Mot, and matsu. Motta mama. Motta mama. Motta mama. Oh, I still have money. Hi. Dorobo wa modote. The thief returned. Did he? Honai is the negative. Hi. Honai is the negative of kuru. Hi. So did so the receipt return? Did not return. He's so so. Do you know why it's konai and not inai or something like that? Or modoranai? Why is it konai? Why is it konai? They had modote modifying konai. My hint is that there's it's a speaker. With... <sighs> so the thief modorobo wa return but did not come back he, that's what it say uh he modote, but he oh, did not call oh, but then I, he I said, but then so he I see a little confusion you got there so true teleform can be a um way to do and in japanese that is correct there are three verb endings that do not mean and and are instead ways to conjugate basically teleform there is idu, which is the default version. That is two. Well, I guess there's four because there's also aru. Um, idu, which is the one you're first taught. This just is the basic ing. Um, that you're not conveying anything particular here. Aru means something exists, and it's basically like a weird version of passive form. I think. Like if you're saying there's something written on the stop sign, you'd say um kaite aru. In that context, it is written on the stop sign. In that case, um, there's also te kudu, which is te form plus kudu. This conveys that something is approaching the speaker. This action that is occurring is not being done by the speaker, but is approaching the speaker. Um, so, modotte kudu would mean they're returning toward me. You could also say te iku to mean this action is going away from the speaker. So modotte iku would mean they're returning away from me. So if you, for example, gave someone a piece of paper and you said, you can go back to your seat, then they'd be modotte ikuing to their seat because they're returning to where they were before, but that location is far away from you. Well, kudu would be returning to where they were before, and you happen to be in that location. And there's a there's like another way those are used, but that's um the most relevant pieces in this context. So, what do you think modote Can konai I means? Consolidate what you just say. Yeah. Hmm. Um. So what I've heard just now was. Tekuru meaning returning to their original place, and I'm the speaker, just happen to be there. Yes. The speaker is included in the conversation with Kuru and Iku. And Te 
Iku is the whoever it is that doing the action right. it's coming it's going away from where yes. I'm standing the speaker standing yes so let's Kudu say if we talk about Hashidu towards... yes like Hashidu is to run so Hashite Kuru means to run toward me and Hashite Iku means to run away from me but not like away away like they're not like ah nigeru it's just they're running and it happens to be away from me we saw this right. um and you say the first yeah all right we saw this uh we saw this earlier when the old man was walking he was aruiteru through um the alleyway in the first chapter the main character was in an alleyway waiting for someone to steal something and the old man he aruite um itad which meant he walked past the alleyway and continued walking away from the main character so they had that ita right there to convey that meaning he walked away from my position so, and then you also mentioned the first two cases with the te, which is te iru and te aru. Right. And you say there was something about that. Yeah. So te iru doesn't so. convey anything. It just means it occurred. You could kind of think about um, with iru, um, kuru, and iku as like if you're watching something on TV and characters are moving around on the screen. And they don't particularly come close to you and they don't really go away from you. It just is occurring and it's just happening to occur in the area. Then you can use Idu. The speaker is not important for telling us where people are. It just is happening. So if you want to include the speaker in an action, then you'd want to use Kudu or Iku, which just kind of helps put people into what's going on in the story. Where are is everybody located? Which is very important in um, novels to know like, oh, is the character coming toward me? Is it going away? Are they leaving the scene? Are they just all, is this all happening at once? Where are the characters located? And that kind of helps convey that. Um, and Adu, I said, is just like a Funny, weird way so to what do is... passive form. Uh, okay, okay. Aru is just a weird way of doing the passive form of yeah, Iru. That, that, that's how you should think about it. It's this weird passive. Um, so you, you don't really need to know when to make it or anything like that. So whenever you see it, it's basically you could translate it as passive form and it would still make sense. Um, Aru basically takes out the doer of the action to the amount that like, you don't care. So if you're saying, oh, this book was written by the author of Genji or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, if you want to say was written, you would use um, passive form because it's important to know this book was written by something, right? But if you want to say the stop sign has words on it, you don't really care who wrote the words. It was a random employee somewhere, right? Some random ass right. person. So in that case, you would use Adu instead. Um, this book used Adu a couple of times to talk about food being put somewhere. So you could think about that as the main character not caring at all about the innkeeper putting the food and is just single-mindedly thinking about the food that just was set down on the table. So it puts extra focus on the passive subject. Well, passiveness does actually put some focus on the doer. So when we saw um, ikaseru over here, which is not passive. Uh, well, we had passive not that long ago. Uh, that was earlier today, wasn't it? Well, passive and causative, you know, they do have some amount of putting people are important. <laughs> but yeah, so what does modote konai mean? Well, we have basically two players. Modote konai. Here. Did not return. Hi. Did not return uh, towards me. Did exactly. not return to my position. Exactly. So in a way, you could say he did not return uh, to me. It's just adding me to the sentence. So he just said, mm -hmm. inai means he doesn't return. 
And that just, that, that takes me out of the story. The whoever's talking is not related to these events. And he said, uh, mm. I don't think you could use Iku in this context. <coughs> he won't return away from me. Oh, I guess that could actually work in a specific occasion. Um, but yeah, it, it mm -hmm. just, it adds whoever is talking as a member of the story. Do you know what Osoroshi means? Or Osoroshi, something to do with a scary. Yes, frightening. Osoroshi, perfect. What was frightening again in Japanese? Osoro, Osoroshi. Hi, Osoroshi. Like you know what Chinmoku means? Frightening. Yeah. <laughs> Chinmoku. Um, moku is like black, isn't it? Like good soup. guess. Moku is actually shut up, and it has the black kanji in there. And chin is the sink because chin moku means silence. Can you read the sentence for me? Osoro chi chin moku ga suzuita. The silent, the terrifying silence continue. Perfect. Can you read this word for me? Osore. Hi. This just turns osoroshi into a noun. So it's just like fear. Um, Can you read fear. this for me? Modote konai osore ga aru. Hi. So there Hi. is osore, fear. Uh, konai. Modote. Oh, nice. The fear didn't. The, the fear that did not return existed. Yeah. There was a fear that they would not come back, would not return back. Do you know this word? Yes, a fear. Bon Hong Kong. Hi. In Jin. Hong Jin. Like Nihon Jin. Yeah, That's a Hon good Jin. guess. It's actually Honin, which is uh, the, the specific person. Honin. Honin. That person. That person. So when you say Honin no Tame, that means for that person. So let's go read the sentence from the book. Hai. Tane o matta mama modote Konai osore mo aru ga sono ho ga honnin no kame ka mo shiren. I think this might be a hard sentence. Um, but basically, this sentence right still, here would be yori, uh, modote konai yori. Sono ho ga hon, honjin no tame. Sono ho ga compared to this. Okay, so okay, I'm gonna try. This is um, a hard sentence. Ha still have still have money. Hi. So in this case, um, I would say while fear... having money, he modote konai. So that's kind of one that that's all together. While having money, um, afraid the fear that that they would not return. Hi. There is a fear that they would not return. However, uh, sono ho ga, compared to that. Uh, so sono ho no is a comparing word, but it's kind of like, this is better. <laughs> this is better. It's kind of what sono ho. <laughs> compared, compared to that other side, this is more. Yeah. So even though there is... Well, Fear that he might leave without any money, it's actually better for honin no tame. It's actually better to honin no tame kamoshiren. It's probably better for him. Exactly. It's probably better that he may not have money. <laughs> yeah, but uh, in, in a way, he's kind of saying, um, so he's going to give, whenever he said in the previous sentence, so he's going to go make, wait, we skip a sentence somehow. Well, oh, yeah. having money. So right here it says those guys. He's going to make them 
go buy some things, going to make them buy some stuff. And with that, he's thinking, hmm, you know, the boy, the thief, I might give him some money to buy some stuff, but the thief might not return. The thief might just take the money and go off on the streets. And it's like, oh, there goes my money. But that actually might be better for the thief to just run off. So he's, he's not in my uh, employment anymore. It's, 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 it's better. Saying. Yeah, he could take if he's my gonna money. he's going to run off, would... might as well go now, right? <laughs> yeah. And yeah, and, and also he gets some money. He, he could eat some food because he's like a nice old man. He's like, well, um, I hope he doesn't take my money. But you know, if he need he needs food, might, might as well run off now. With <laughs> hi, sorry, yeah. Monty, we went over time. Um, yeah, it's all good, but I wanted I want to do it because guess what? You finished the last one. Chapter two. No way! Yeah, no way. Hon, honnin no tamini kamoshiren was the last line. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I'm gonna grab my book 